Transmitting video via 3G, 4G, and LTE cellular connections opens new opportunities for organizations engaged in mobile internet news gathering, where those who want to broadcast video from sporting events, remote meetings, or any place where Ethernet and Wi-Fi are not accessible. If you're in the market for a portable video encoder transmitter, you should consider the LiveGear Airstream from Vizlink, who's been in the broadcast business for over 50 years. The product is mobile, easy to use, and employs predictive forward error correction and adaptive bitrate H.264 encoding to reliably deliver top quality video over broadband cellular networks. In this tutorial, I'll introduce you to the Airstream system and show you how it is used to broadcast live video anytime, anywhere. The Airstream is an integrated H.264 video encoder and broadband cellular transmitter, which you operate via a touchscreen panel, making it totally self-contained and easy to use and transport. In the current version, you can install up to four internal 3G, 4G, or LTE modems via SIM cards, so there are no external dongles to carry and manage. This fifth modem is a control modem that can be used to create a virtual private network. Each transmission modem is connected to its own broadband antenna that is neatly stowed behind the Airstream's front panel. This antenna is for the control modem. You can mix and match SIM cards from different cellular providers to ensure that you get a reliable signal, and the unit will bond all modem connections together, delivering the maximum bandwidth possible. While we're here, let me point out the HD or SD SDI video with embedded audio input. A separate analog audio input is also available here. On the left are an Ethernet port and an SD memory card for local storage that will be available for use with version 1.03. On the back is room for two industry standard IDX lithium ion batteries which deliver up to six hours of broadcasting. They're hot swappable, so if you need extra time without disrupting your transmission, just bring extra batteries. As an overview, the Airstream encodes the HD or SD video into H.264 IP format and then splits the transport stream up for transmission via the available modems. All segmented streams are directed over the cellular broadband networks and the internet to an LGR-1000 receiver located at your operations center. The LGR-1000 aggregates by reassembling the four segmented streams into a single coherent IP video stream, which is decoded to an SDI signal that you can plug into your existing video processing infrastructure. At your option, you can purchase the VMS-1100 video media server to transcode the IP transport stream from the LGR-1000 for delivery to desktops, smartphones, and tablets. If you're interested in a smaller, more portable product, Note the camera-mounted LiveGear AirCam unit, which supports up to five cellular connections in a much smaller form factor. Most Airstream customers configure the unit in the office to make field operation as simple as possible. You can configure the Airstream using the touchscreen or by connecting to the unit from a separate computer on the same network, which shows the same basic controls. I'll demonstrate using a separate computer because the video is easier to capture. If you haven't done so already, configure the cellular modem SIM cards that you've installed. To connect to a remote Airstream unit from behind your office firewall, you can set up a virtual private network, which is managed via the internal control modem. You should also configure these settings for the LGR receiver. Now let's look at the video configuration. Leave input resolution at auto. You can set the maximum bitrate as high as you'd like, up to 10 megabits per second, since the system will adaptively adjust the data rate to match the available cellular bandwidth. Set the rest of these controls as you would normally, and choose modem as the stream output for cellular transport. As you can see, starting with version 1.03, the unit will also be able to transmit via Wi-Fi or wired connections, increasing its flexibility. Then save the configuration. Audio controls are also simple. Choose the input, bitrate, input type, and channel type. Choose whether to enable automatic gain control and configure your options. 
and save these as well. The saved settings become the default until changed. Again, if necessary, users in the field can change these settings via the touchscreen panel. Or you can log into the Airstream remotely via the VPN that you just configured. In the field, the user sets the unit down, connects the antenna, attaches the batteries, connects the camera, and turns the unit on, which takes about two minutes for booting and to optimize the cellular links. Finally, check cellular status. There is no start button. The Airstream will start transmitting as soon as it sees an incoming video signal, which you can see by clicking over to the preview window. Again, the Airstream encodes the signal into an H.264 format using adaptive bitrate processing to match the available cellular throughput. Predictive forward error correction helps ensure video quality and continuity if your broadband cellular service hiccups. The multiple segmented signals are sent to the LGR1000, which in turn aggregates and reassembles the IP packets for decoding into an SDI signal, or to pass to the VMS1000 video media server for H.264 streaming from your website for delivery to desktops, smartphones, and tablets. So that's it. The Airstream is compact, easy to use, and can run for as long as you have batteries to swap in. It can support up to four broadband 3G, 4G, or LTE modems to supply satellite quality video at a fraction of the cost. It's live video anytime, anywhere, from VizLink.